want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. All right, beloved, good God's morning to you. I pray all is well with you this morning on this beautiful Thursday. It's Thursday, y'all. The week is almost done. Good God, praise the Lord. And so we thank God for his goodness. We thank God for his grace, his mercy. Beloved, it is another day that the Lord has kept us Say to the men. Good God's morning to each and every one of you again. I pray all is well with you on this Thursday morning, beloved, because it is another day the Lord has made. And we will, come on, say it with me, we shall, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Let us get our scripture for this morning. This morning's scripture, beloved, is going to be coming from... Here we go, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And it says from the NIV version, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and prove what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then, is that clause? Then, then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good pleasing and perfect will. Good guys morning to each and every one of you. I see you all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Listen, our scripture here, Paul, he is talking and you know, Paul was a straightforward person. He kept it, kept it straight. Um, some of the things that he was talking about or he would mention were, you know, from a background you know, of culture. Um, however, the content, the context of it was straightforward and real and pure. In this verse here, he's telling the people of God, listen, don't be conformed to the world. You know, people should not have to wonder if you are a child of God or not. Let me just say that. People should not have to wonder if you are a child of God or not. Those that are a child of God, that are followers of Christ, our mindset is different. Our activities, our daily activities, our, our things, the things we do, the things we say, how we act are, is different from the world. It's different from the world. I hope this isn't interrupted, but um, it shouldn't. I think it should move, move transition to smooth, smoothly, but um, we, we, there shouldn't be a question. Of you a follower of Christ or not? I should have left it alone. Let me see if it'll jump back on or not. 
All right. It looks like I'm back on. Can you can you can you all see hear me? All right. It looks like I'm back on. Okay. Um. Okay. So, um, again, you know, the devil don't want you to hear what I'm saying this morning because if he can just keep you off track, if he can just have you in a state of mind where you 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 think this is right, you think this is what supposed to be happening. He'll have you looking like Boo Boo the Fool. And sometimes, you know, we don't, we don't, you know, we, we, correction is good, beloved. Someone sees me doing wrong, say something to me. Some people don't want to be, be said to. They want to just keep on going and keep on doing. No, pull me to the side and say, hey, listen, mm -mm, this ain't it. This ain't the way. This ain't what we are about. This is not how God wants us to operate and and and, and perform and, 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 you know, maneuver. No, this is not it. We have got to have something different about us. There's got to be something different that lets us stand out versus the world. If we're doing things like the world, then what's the point of going to church? What's the point? What is the point of, of, of being in church, you know, uh, hearing the word of God? You know, what is the point? We've got to have a renewed, a transformed mindset. I can't think like the world. I got to go and pray. I got to go read my word. I got to let God minister to me and, 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 and let my mind not wander, but, but be, be steadfast and unmovable. I've got to do this. And then he says, then. Some of us are walking around with a retrobate mind and thinking we're right and thinking this is good and this is that when it's just, it stinks. And the reason why it stinks and we don't know and can't recognize it stinks, it stink, is because we have not transformed our mind. We have not taken the time. We don't pray. We don't fast. We don't get in, in the presence of God. We just, we just do what we want to do. Whatever you are, it is what? You've been feeding yourself. If you feed yourself the spirit, you become more of the spirit. If you feed yourself of the flesh, guess what? The flesh rules. Good God Almighty. He says, then we'll be able to test and approve what is God's will. We talked about this last night in Bible study. There is no way that we will know and we can know what is the will of God if we're not in, Bi if we're not in Bible study, if we're not learning the word, if we're not reading the word of God, if we haven't had an encounter with God. Know what God's will is. When we have that mind that is in, in, in Christ Jesus, we can look at something and say, no, nah, that ain't right. Mm -mm. We can see something and say, nah, uh -uh. <laughs> no, uh -uh. Some, something ain't right about that, something wrong. But if we're not feeding our spirit and feeding our flesh, flesh, hey, flesh say, let's have a party. Flesh says, woo, let's go, let's do it, yeah, do it, do it, do it. Flesh says, yes, you enjoying yourself. Let's go ahead. Ain't no harm in having a little fun. Ain't no harm in doing this. Ain't no harm in doing that. That's what flesh says. But the spirit says no. Mm -mm. That ain't right. That, that's, not, that's not how the people of God. A woman of God, a man of God should be acting. I'm not just talking about a preacher. I'm talking about anybody who says that I am a child of God. Transform. Beloved, let's transform our mind. Let's get in our word. Let's pray. Let's fast. Let's do whatever we have to do to make sure that this mind that is in we, is also that also the mind that was in Christ Jesus is also in me. God, I need to know your mind because see, if I don't know your mind, if I don't know what you think your thoughts of me are, I'll I'll go off of my depression thoughts. Hmm? If I don't have a transformed mind and renewing my mind, I'll go off of what my depression says. I'll go off of what the enemy tries to tell me. But no, I've got to know 
who I am in God. I got to know who I am. I got to know who, what God says about me. I got to have a transformed and renewed mind. Then I can test it. I can approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect. Well, God wants us to do better in the upcoming year. Some of us are going to have to hear some hard things. Some of us are going to have to get ourselves together, get right, or just sit down. Some of us are going to have to pray. We're going to have to pray. We're going to have to get in the word of God. We're going to have to continuously renew our mind and transform our mind. We can't be like the world. Folks are looking. And you're not doing it because folks are looking. You're doing it because don't you want to go to heaven? I want to go heaven. Do you want to go to heaven? I want to go to heaven. I don't live down here and live in all this hell to still die and go to hell. No, player. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. No. Transformation starts today. It starts with you. You have to make up in your mind that you want to be better, that you want to be what God has called you to be, what God has, has said that he has, he has placed in, in, on the inside. I know you feel it. I know you know that God has called you to a better place. What's stopping you? Don't look at your neighbor. Don't look at your brother, your sister, your wife, your husband. Don't look at none of them. You do what God tells you to do. And I promise you, your leader, for some of you who are not members of my church, your leader knows. I promise you, I know. But guess what? I can't make nobody do nothing. I, I can only lead you. And if you want to drink, you'll drink. But if you ain't thirsty for the word and thirsty for what God has for you, okay. Okay. What you want me to do? <laughs> Beloved, God has something in store for you. He does. And he wants us to get into a place where we are thirsty for God. Not because of our leader is thirsty and our leader wants us to have the best life. Our leader wants us to walk in, you know, the calling and the fulfilling. God wants you to want that for yourself. He wants you to want that for yourself. And so today, make it your day. Make it your business. We make time to do everything else. But today, make it your business. Here on out, make it your business to read the word of God. That's how you transform your mind. That's how you renew your mind. You pray. You read the word of God and you pray. If your Bible day night is not something that you can comprehend, get something that's comprehensible. I love the NIV version. Get that. If you need help trying to figure out which word to get to read, ask me. I'll help you. I'll, I'll help you. I'll give you some, some, some good Bible resources, and, and I'll send you on your way, and you pick the one that you need. We've got to get in the word. Got to get in the word. We've got to renew our minds so that we will know for ourselves. You don't need me. I, I tell you all before, you don't need me to tell you you're wrong. You know you're wrong. And if for some reason you don't know you're wrong, guess what? Your, your mind is, is way off. That's what they call a reprobated mind. You need to get back in. You need to ask God to help you transform that, renew that. God, tell God, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. God, let my mind be in you. Control my thoughts. Control my attitude. Control my mind. God, help me to be more like you and not like myself. We ought to be Christ-like. People should see us and say, oh, there's something about us. People should see us and say, oh, I want I, what church you go to. And look at here. Don't, don't, don't have these people looking at you. And say, oh, I don't know, want to go to that church. I don't know what church they go to, but I don't want to go to that church because of your behavior. People are watching. Again, we don't do it for the people that are watching, but understand your witness is important. Some, some of you will be the only Jesus that some people will ever see until they can get to a church, until they can get to where they can hear the word of God. 
You say you are a Christian. You say you go to church. You say you love the Lord. Act like it. I got to go. Let's pray. Father, we want to tell you thank you for this morning for your word, God. Thank you for the time and the fellowship that we have with you, God, and your people. And I pray, God, that today my words don't fall on deaf ears. But as your word says, ye that have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. God, I pray that we take your word and we take heed to what you have said today, to be transformed, to be renewed, that we get in our word, that we have a hunger and a thirst for you ourselves, that we feed our spirit and not our flesh, that we know we do, we're not doing wrong, so we turn. We don't need nobody to tell us. But God, we hear your voice. We, we, we clean out our ears. We take the noise and we remove all the other chatter so that we can hear you, God. We can feel you in our heart. We remove everything else out of the way. God, so we can hear you. So that we can feel you. God, transform us from the inside out. Let us not walk around with masks on our face. Let us not walk around and act any longer. Let us not walk around and pretend any longer. But God, let us be real. Real, real, real from the inside. Transform us, God, from the inside out. So that whatever is going on in the inside, it reflects the outside. Woo! Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise, glory, and the honor. We ask your blessing upon us, O oh God, as we endeavor to do your will. Hallelujah. Transform us, Lord. Hallelujah. It's in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. And God, I'll say this. God, help us not to be like the transformers. Where we can transform into a, a, a big thing and then transform back into the little thing. Or transform and from the, the little thing to the big or the big thing to the little. God, help us to be one way. Not two-faced it. <laughs> not having two heads, but God, one way. Good God Almighty. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Help us to be real, Lord. Real, real, real. Where you see us in the outside is the same way in our house. Hallelujah, God. Where you see us, when you see us, God, in the church is the same thing on the streets. God, help us to be real. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We ask your blessing now. In Jesus' name we pray. People of God saying, amen and amen. Finn, Finn, I want to see you, son. Finn, I want to see you. You need to call me today. You need to call me today, Finn. You need to inbox me. Whatever you need to do, I need to hear from you today. I need to see you. Good God's morning to each and every one of y'all. Listen, I see you all. I see each and every one of y'all. Y'all say good morning to First Lady. Amen. Listen, we love you all, and there's nothing that you can do about it. All right? God loves you. Amen. And he wants the best for you. That's why God tells you what he tells you. And I know sometimes it can be, it can seem rough. It can seem tough. It can, if, if you feel like today I'm talking to you, guess what? Get your act together, okay? Get your act together. If the shoes that I have, have 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 issued out today, if they fit your shoe, put the shoe on and do what you got to do. Turn from your wicked ways. All right? God loves you. He wants the best for you. He tired of the devil making a fool out of some of y'all. Get it together. Let's get it right. All right? Let's get it together. Let's get it right. Good God's morning to each and every one of you all. You all have a blessed and a beautiful day. Finn, call me today. Today, matter of fact, as soon as we get off of this, you can hit me up, okay? All right, listen, you all have a blessed and a beautiful day. God loves you. We love you, and there's nothing that you can do about it. 
You all have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place, for another good God's morning moment. All right? Good God's morning to y'all. Y'all have a blessed and beautiful one. Good God's morning. Good God's morning. Good God.